Hello class, my name is Fernando Guerra and I am the team lead for Team 4, also known as the Fantastic Four. Team members are Chad Rokita, Mike Nowak, and Barry Breck. Today we'll be showing you guys how to restore digital images to a better state. When there is an image that contains imperfections such as creases, uh, scratches, torns, even rips, uh, there are ways that the photograph can be fixed basically. Uh, the software that I'm going to be using today will be Photoshop CS5. Uh, this works with Photoshop CS3 and Photoshop CS2. Uh, the first thing I will be showing you guys is how to get rid of those imperfections. We will also cover how to add layers, duplicate layers, and how to merge layers. And also how to save the work that you have worked on on the photograph. I will also cover a step-by-step -step instruction manual that will be provided to the team members in Team 4 that will help instruct other teams how to get this thing done. So let's begin. Uh, here are some images of basically three faces. Face one is basically the image with all the imperfections. As you can tell, the phase one image right here has a long crease, some minor scratches, and it, it is also in black and white. Phase two will be having the imperfections be fixed and the picture still remaining in black and white. Phase 3 will contain adding color to the black and white image as a final result. Here is another image with the same imperfections. These images were given to the team members for them to practice and learn how to use the proper tools on Photoshop to get the job done. Now we will begin with showing you guys this picture with a couple of imperfections such as a stain. There's a rip on the lower right corner and uh, a crease on the lower left corner. I will be going over some of the tools that will be used to fix this photograph. First and foremost, what you want to do is on your right corner, you will notice that there's a box containing the picture with the word background along with a lock on it. What this is is basically the picture that you have opened and that you're about to work on. What you want to do is press Control J to duplicate the layer. That way any changes that are made to the photograph are not made to the original picture but to a copy. Once a duplicate layer is made, you will begin by getting rid of small stains such as the ones on the top left corner. Hitting Control and the plus sign, you can zoom in. We will be using three tools, the healing tool, the stamp tool, also known as the clone stamp tool, or we will be using the brush tool to color at the end. First select your stamp tool and what you want to do is start with the smallest stain such as the one that the mouse has hovered on and as close as to the stain as possible aim the cursor hold the button alt and as you can tell the mouse turns into a bullseye 
once that happens you click once and what that does is it takes a small picture of that area and you'll basically stamp it on top of that stain if the stain is a bit bigger what you want to do is right click and choose your brush properties to a larger size such as a 27 blur brush from here you can then increase the diameter on that brush and that will be a good size right there repeating the same step hold alt take a picture of that area and stamp around the stain as you can tell this is time consuming so as much time you put into it the better result you will get another tool that I would like to show you guys is it only works for small stains so this one right here what we're going to do is we're going to select the healing tool and all you do is just go right over it and as you can tell it's, it vanishes sometimes it does not work with large stains but it varies sometimes as you can tell these are the, the things that sometimes happen as you can tell there's a lighter spot right here when you use that so what you want to do is you want to hit back you want to go back by pressing control Z and then we'll pick the stamp tool zoom out a bit decrease the size on your brush properties hold alt and click once and there you go now you will repeat the same steps throughout the whole entire photograph like so as you can tell if you click on the eye located on the first layer it basically turns on and off the changes that you've made I will now move on to adding color to the image before you add color to the image it must be completely restored in order for the color to look right on the photograph we will add a layer by hitting the small box located on the lower right corner I recommend you label the layer by double clicking on that lettering you can write anything you want so for example we will begin coloring her arm we will label it arm the reason why this is done is because the more layers that you put onto the picture is going to be a little bit harder for you to determine which layers you want to change so if you always want to go back and change the color of the arm you already know which layer it's the arm located on on the left corner there is a box with uh, black and white click on the black select the color that you want as you can tell it changes color right here and simply select your brush tool and start coloring make sure that your opacity is turned all the way up to a hundred what opacity is is basically the strength of the brush that you are coloring so as you can tell I had it on 19 so I basically colored just a little bit now it's set to 100 so now it's going to be a bit darker 
try to color as much as skin as you can if you go over the skin it's alright you can fix it later this is why I told you guys to fix the imperfections before because once you go over the imperfections you will notice the imperfections will still remain once you have colored the arm you will select this down drop arrow and select color as you can tell the arm is now a different color you will now hit control U and this will pop up a hue and saturation box which you will be able to play around and change the tone of the color you just color the arm you can make it lighter a bit darker and so on once satisfied with the color you will hit OK zoom back in and you will select your eraser tool as you can tell there are three types of erasers you want the eraser tool you will then erase along the edges making sure your opacity is back up to a hundred If there are places that you cannot reach inside, decrease the diameter of your brush, like so. There are many ways that you can do this. I found it that this way it's easier for me. I'm sure everybody has their own way or they'll learn to do their own way once they play around with this a bit now once you are done and satisfied with the part of the, the arm that you basically covered you will now add another layer and rename it to whatever you are going to work on let's say we will work on the, on the dress so label it dress make sure it's highlighted and then select the color that you want to color it we'll do like a dark purple select your brush once you color the area go back to the drop down arrow and hit select color if you are satisfied with that color you can start erasing the the sides that don't belong there or you could just hit control U once again for your hue and saturation and play with the color that you like once you find that color hit OK select the eraser once again and start erasing the images or the side of the image that you don't want to be colored let's move on to her face uh, we will select another layer and we'll label it let's say lips because there are different parts of the face that you would have to color different colors for this you would need to zoom in as much as you can we will 
we'll select a red color I would strongly recommend picking a brush that's solid that way you get an actual coloring of the lips and, and not overlap something else once again select color hue and saturation to decrease to zoom out control minus sign zoom in and start erasing the parts that don't belong there now this is very important when you have a small area that you are coloring and you want to erase but not too much I suggest you pick a blur brush and turn the opacity a bit down maybe down to I'll say 35 and right on the edge slowly erase some of the, the lipstick around the lip area like so and um, that's about it I will show you now the images that well first before I, I close this image what you want to do is you want to save this so before you save the image you want to merge all of these layers together the way you'll do that is you'll go to the background image select highlight it right click and merge so what that does is it merges all the layers together and then you will just go to file and save and name the photograph whatever you like okay um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the work that the team has done As you can tell, there's phase one, the original image, phase two, and phase three with color. There you go, phase one, phase two, and phase three. All right, guys, um, each team member will be giving a step by step instruction on how to get this done. and pretty much uh, if you follow every step you will be able to do everything I just did I will be giving this to them if you want the file or view the video that you're watching right now you could visit my portfolio I will be attaching it there And uh, you could download the document and the video if you would like. And that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope I didn't put anybody to sleep. And uh, good luck. And goodbye.